former ANC Women's League president, the National Assembly Speaker Nosivivia Mapisangakula says that the late Zolega Mandela must be celebrated for being bold and brave for sharing her life journey. For the first time, Mapisa Ngakula has poured her heart out about her relationship with late ANC stalwart Winnie Matigizela Mandela. Since Matigizela Mandela's passing, there have been issues raised about her relationship with some women who once led the ANC Women's League. International News Editor Sofi Mugwena spoke to Mapisa Ngakula on the margins of the BRICS Parliamentary Forum's media briefing, with the actual event starting tomorrow. You know, um, grief is um, very difficult to talk about and grief is something which is not easy to to accept once you lose a loved one you tend to see black and even when people will talk to you and say but there's a light at the end of the tunnel tomorrow it will be morning. It's very difficult to accept. And I'm particularly very, very upset about uh, and sad about the death of this young lady because she has four children and young ones for that matter. In fact, this morning I was talking to the DSG of the ANC, Nombula Mokonyan. As you'd know, I've worked very closely with Comrade Nomvula when I was still in the ANC Women's League. She's the one who informed me about this early in the morning. And I asked her, by the way, how many children and what are the ages of the children? The first one is 12. Now you can imagine. You can imagine because everybody now, obviously the focus is going to be on what happens to these children who will look after the children you know at times it's easy to say when a person passes on come to us when there are challenges please don't hesitate to come to me but in fact when the reality hits the children you may find that it's going to be very difficult for them so I would like to say to the Mandela family well, that's it. But it's not something we were not prepared for. Even though it was difficult for all of us to accept that a young person such as Zoleka would eventually pass on. But Zoleka prepared the nation. Zoleka prepared her family through letters, books, articles, postings which she made where she was keeping people informed about what was happening to her life now that she's gone it's very difficult for all of us and as you can imagine sophie for anyone who's a mother right now the first thing you think about are the children what will happen to the children of course there's a, they are a big family they even have, I'm sure, in a big extended family. You have Comrade, you have Zenani, you have uh, many of them. So, obviously, we, we worry about them. We worry about how they must be feeling. And at times, when it happens, it becomes very difficult to even prepare for the burial. You think about the impact and the consequences of what have, has happened around you. And therefore, I would like to say to the Mandela family, to the many brothers and sisters, their cousins, their aunties, uncles, and the entire Mandela clan, that Akshanga Lunge Shiyo, Kwenzekile Sekunji, and Kukunji Kuzozonge in Tlanga, and all they need to focus on now is the burial of Zoleka. It's a beautiful send off. Zoleka should have a beautiful soul, and I believe that she deserves a beautiful send off. Yes, we will all cry, but I think more than anything else, we must celebrate 
a life well lived. We must celebrate a life of a person who was very open about herself, who had, um, who could, who could tell you, you something you couldn't imagine somebody else would talk about. A, a, a beautiful soul, and I think that's just what now we need. Let's give her a beautiful send off. Let's celebrate her life. And of course, in the course of that, let's hold her children's hands and walk with them this path, but also pray for healing, because that to me is the most important thing, to pray for healing. Her passing on comes at a time, for example, today, uh, Mama Winnie would have celebrated her birthday. You worked with her in the party, but also in parliament. And can you share with us uh, a story in terms of this loss and us celebrating this woman, Winnie Matigizela Mandela, who was very close to Zoleka? Very close to Zoleka and very close to many other young women. Even those who were not related to her. You know, Sophie, I always sometimes think of, for instance, when um, I was presiding together with, a, I think, Tandi Mudise, if my memory serves me well, at the funeral of Comrade Winnie. I recall one speaker taking the floor and saying some of the people who never wanted you or who never wanted to work with you are today speakers or presiding at your funeral. And you know, at that spot, on, on the spot, I just knew exactly what they were referring to. One thing I need to share with you about Comrade Winnie, we worked with Comrade Winnie. There would be differences. The most important thing is that differences in politics should never be antagonistic. They can never be, you will always have divergent views, even if you are in the same party. You will have divergent views on a whole range of issues or on your approach, on the strategy to deal with a particular issue. And that does not mean that there is hostility. I loved Mama Winnie. And if I may say, Sophie, and I do want to say this, and I know that some people may say it was not necessary. When we came back, remember, the first group which was sent into South Africa after the unburning, besides the Rotescu, Roteskir Minute. The group of women, 13 women, who came into the country to resuscitate, to revive the structures of the Women's League because the ground was fertile for that, because of the many women's organizations which were there were in the mass democratic movement. It's a group which was led by Gertrude Schoppe. And that group planned strategically, Mass Schoppe together with Masi Sulu, there were Feroz Adams at the time, you, the late, may her soul rest in peace, Jesse Duarte, the Nomvulas were very young at the time, and some of us were coming out from, from the other side. At the time, Comrade Winnie had been thrown out of the UDF in particular. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying I hate to talk about it particularly now because it is the 40th anniversary of the UDF. But there were challenges like you would have challenges in any family. But there were challenges which led to comrades suspending her. The people who came in and brought Comrade Nom Zamo back. It is that group of 13 women. We sat down, we engaged with our comrades at the time at head office, the Masses Sulus, Comrade Grigesis, the Comrade Feroses, and all of them. And we said, we cannot have at this point a Winnie, a Comrade Winnie, who is operating outside of the structures 
of the African National Congress because now the African National Congress has been unbanned. And of course, then we went to her house and of course, under very difficult circumstances, we were able to persuade her to come back into the organization. What am I proving here? I am proving a point that relations in politics can never be antagonistic to a point where you cannot work together. Relation in politics, you never refer to them as problems. It's about challenges which we have. We will differ from now, every now and then, but what is important is to always find a way forward together for the sake of the people of South Africa. And therefore, that's what we did. That later on, problems developed again. It's another matter. It is in the course of doing your work, in the course of engagements which are intense, which you will have. And of course you would know that at some point a group of about 12 women resigned from the executive of the Women's League. And I was the Secretary General at the time, and Mama was my president. But do you think that because we resigned from the ANC Women's League, therefore there was no relationship and communication between ourselves and Mama Winnie? No. We continued. In fact, when I lost a child, Combate Winnie was amongst the first women who were there to comfort me. But of course, by then, the relationship, even when Dada died, by the way, when Dada passed on, remember, I was in defense. And I had Umama who was there, and I had two mamas who were there. And I always had to find a middle way of ensuring that both of them were comfortable as we were bearing the old man. So I want to remember Comrade Winnie. As a person who was a great inspiration to many women. I want to remember Comrade Winnie as a person who inspired this grandchild mm -hmm. to be who she is, a writer telling her own story because the tendency in the main is people write about us and in the course of that people tend to to misrepresent facts and therefore I am happy that Zoleka had the opportunity to write about herself, to write about the relationship she had with her mother and grandmother, to write about the love in her family. I think it is good and this is a young girl who lost a child in 2010 and, and I remember my immediate reaction was Good God, she's so young and she's lost a child. What would I do? But the whole nation rallied behind her and family because of the kind of people they were.